additive mixing of colored lights is usually demonstrated like this. You superimpose a blue, a green and a red spot of light, pairwise producing cyan, yellow and magenta. And where all three overlap, an achromatic or white area. The resulting image has become the icon of additive color mixing. But is this really a purely additive process? Far from it. Let me vary the demonstration slightly. We have the green and blue, partly overlapping spots, together with a grey spot at some distance. What happens when the grey spot is shifted so as to join and partially overlap the two others? Well, essentially the same as before. We get yellow, magenta and white. It seems as if the grey spot takes on the role of red. And from now on it also looks reddish. But let us exchange the green spot for a red. Again you get yellow, cyan, magenta and white. This time the unchained neutral spot takes on the role of green, producing yellow together with red. And now it looks greenish. Once again, given a white, a blue and a red spot. Let them meet and overlap. And the white one gloriously plays the role of green. Uh, but the blue spot is also to some degree responsible for the appearance of yellow. Look here. In conclusion, evidently there are mutual interactions between the parts of the configuration making it look in a certain pre-established way. The Gestalt psychologists would regard it as a manifestation of the law of pregnance. Let me show you another variant. You start with three light spots of the same chromaticity. Overlapping pairwise, they give rise to white and grey. When all three overlap, you get two levels of grey between black and white. Next, change the chromaticity of the upper one towards blue. Immediately the opposite field gets a yellow tint. Proceed by making the left one slightly reddish. This is enough to give a greenish tint to the third spot and produce the RGB icon again. From the point of view of his theory of colors, Goethe's comment would have been that color always has a tendency to make itself present as a totality. Separating the spots we see that the lowest one is, by itself, still neutral white, as from the start. <laughs>